We walk outside. Guys, true story. We walk outside. He walks me to my car like a gentleman. And as we're there, like, say goodbye. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so terrified. We're talking to some guy, and I, it's in my line of sight because it's behind Ray. Homeless man reaches into a trash can with like, but he has like a, like a, what is it? Like a sheet over his head or something. Yeah, like a hoodie. Yeah, like a hoodie. So he reaches in and he walks past and in slow-mo it happens where he takes trash coffee, cold, who knows how long it's in there, LA trash coffee, and whips a full thing on us. And all of a sudden, Ray and I were like, <gasps> It's in Ray's hair dripping down his face. It's on my entire car. My, and I go, pretty sure that was Sam Raimi the testing dude us. took his hoodie off and it was Sam Raimi. <laughs> he was like, okay, you kids want to know what it's like to get stuff thrown on you all the time. But um, that was our first encounter and it was just a perfect way to end it. And then we've been doing that ever since. I don't think that they realized what they were doing when they put together a Italian and a Puerto Rican <laughs> with Bruce Campbell. Well, maybe they did. I never maybe actually thought did. about that until I just said it. But you, you put two people that come from such passionate, you know, cultures together, and they're bound to either uh, get along or not get along. And so, luckily, we, we got along. We, we got along. We got right. along. And, and there's a lot of passion and love, and love for, for partying and being loud and laughing and eating great food which and is caring what we, a lot about the work we care a lot yeah, we, very we, we care, laughs at us we care about the work that we do yeah. um, so yeah we're like so, very serious about as it as an Italian, a Puerto Rican and Bruce Campbell walk into a bar I think we just there, created that's a joke. The whole joke that's the whole joke that is the joke I have to ask you Ray that the your hair is phenomenal. I just gotta say it. I'm yes. envious, right? Look, people are clapping for the hair. It's gonna get its own spin-off. Mark my words. Was that Pablo's hair? Hail to the fro. <laughs> now, is this is that was this your own your own doing when you walked in, or did they uh, say, "Hey, you gotta grow this"? Yeah, thing? I never thought that it would be such a thing. Uh, I was getting making a living off of playing a gangbanger and a drug dealer with a buzzed head many years ago, and I decided. That sounded wrong. Playing, playing drug dealers and gangbangers, not oh as a drug dealer and gangbanger. But um, I decided to change my look up, and this was just me. And then uh, it became the character, and now, and now it no longer belongs to me. It belongs to Ash vs. Evil Dead, and every year it gets higher and higher. I actually have many illegal substances hiding in my hair right now. If you'd like to get some for Halloween, trick or treat, come see me at my table. I've got plenty of candy to go around. Uh, the old Amy Winehouse trick. Hey, hey look uh, at that. Hey, hey. Look at that. Yeah. The, the planets are aligning once again. Synchronicity. Now, you two have had some, some pretty cool scenes, not only together but separately, where there's been some effects involved, both when your character was possessed and when your character was basically folded in half. Uh, and you, when you quote unquote died, spoiler alert. Uh, what are the what are the effects like on the show? Working with kind of all that, all the blood. What's that like? Sticky. <laughs> A little sticky. Sticky, but like the worst. I've said this over and over. The worst part about it is not getting it on and getting the stickiness. It's in five minutes. It dries. I don't know if any of you have ever waxed in your life, men or women, but you can imagine what like a hard wax feels like on your skin. So if you're closed and you're all of a sudden, it's in parts of your body you didn't even know you had, okay? And so in five minutes, you're, you someone calls your name and you turn your head and it just <sighs> rips your hair, rips your skin. It's very painful. So all of a sudden you're like, just can you give me more blood? Can you just keep covering me? Because it's better to to be wet than to be a uh, hardened uh, wax. But our it's the best that we shoot in New Zealand. It takes place in Detroit, but we shoot in New Zealand. We win at life, of course. Um, but uh, you know, it, we have such an incredible um, crew and and special effects. These are artists, and I have to tell you, as passionate as Ray and I are about the series and and about the, and as passionate as the fans are. The crew truly is, like they really have so much attention to detail, like like a little bit OCD. So when you are walking around set and you're seeing these dead bodies and the demons and the blood and the viscera and the colon and the cadavers, and that you, you truly like, don't you find that when you're going through, you, you have to look and, and, and it's disgusting even just seeing it in the making, like there. And then you watch it on the show and you hear the sound effects and everything and you're like, wow. 
I can tell you firsthand it is that disgusting and gross and impeccable in person. I have a, I have a really weird kind of gross story, but it's not that gross. But um, I don't know if you guys have seen season two, but if you have... I don't know, slackers. So if you have, you know what happens to me. So there was like a, a prosthetic made of like the bottom half of my body. And you know, we play jokes on each other. We have a good time. And so I was bored. And my makeup artist, I was picking on her and she said, you know what, go fuck yourself, Ray. So I found the bottom half. And I put it on my body. And I basically ran around pretending to fuck myself. It's kind of what we do on Ash vs. Evil Dead. Sorry, you asked about the special effects. It's sticky and we fuck ourselves. What can I say? What was so it we good? managed to get uh, so good. shit my pants, colon, and fuck myself in the same interview. This is, this is a good... Ash vs. Evil Dead, folks, if you've never seen it. Oh, don't you worry. We're going to blow our load season three. Oh, wow. We, just, that's, we hit for the cycle. There's the grand slam. <laughs> Speaking of season three, it was just announced. February. You're coming back. And there looked like there were some new folks on that poster, some new characters. What can we expect, and who can we expect in season three? You can expect them to die. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry, go ahead, David. Uh, no, expect the unexpected truly is the theme of season three. And I think that's because, you know, it feels like every time, every episode, every season, how are we going to top ourselves? We're always like, how are we going to top that? And yet the writers and all, and the crew and the producers and, and all the actors, we always do, I think. And so um, this season, besides expecting the unexpected, where I feel like from halfway through the season on, every